just about ready for some NAIA volleyball. Coming to you from the Connor Convocation Center for the first time in the 2023 season. Men's volleyball action here on the Saints Sports Network. Friday Night Volleyball will present the Kentucky State Thoroughbreds to take on the Thomas Moore Saints in what should be a pretty fun matchup. I hope you all are ready for some good ones tonight. Thomas Moore coming in 2-1 and one on the year. Kentucky State, not a great start to their year. They are 1-6. and six. However, they did win their last battle, so maybe that is going to bode well for them coming in to this one. Hi, everybody. Excited to be with you all. My name is Nate Metz. I'm going to be with uh, pretty much uh, every rally that we've got here tonight. Who knows how long it's going to go, but it should be a fun one. Kentucky State needing to make sure that if they're going to beat Thomas Moore today, they get a little aggressive. they got to knock Thomas Moore off of their game. The Saints are rolling right now after beating Mount St. Joseph, a Division III opponent just north of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. I, I just feel like Thomas Moore currently coming in with some pretty good form out of the gate, if you will, to put it into thoroughbred terms. Uh, but I think that Kentucky State can have an opportunity to beat Thomas Moore tonight, but they're not going to just be given this game by the Saints. Saints doing a very good job of just not doing too much. They've been a very steady team through their first three matches, and I expect the exact same thing here tonight. We've got about 10 minutes before the national anthem and pregame prayer, so I'm going to throw it to a couple commercial breaks. But when I come back, we've got some more volleyball for you in this 2022-2023 season. Cannot wait. Men's volleyball coming to you here after this. And as the National Anthem booms through the Connor Convocation Center, we are just about ready for men's volleyball action. It's the Thoroughbreds and the Saints on the Saints Sports Network. Looking at the lineup for the Kentucky State men's volleyball program, coached by Eileen Butts. They're going to send out a couple of characters that you're definitely going to have to keep an eye on. Jordan Howard is the one who is certainly liable to knock a kill down or two for this thoroughbred team, averaging just over two kills per set. Also, pretty tough when serving. He's got nine service aces on the year, which leads the breads. Not by much, Caden Drewski has eight, so both of those two very dangerous from the service line, and I think that's a big part of what the thoroughbreds are gonna have to do to keep Thomas Moore out of their rhythm. Not gonna be easy to beat the Saints on their home floor tonight, but I think if it's gonna be done, serving tough and then receiving the serves properly on the other end is a great way to give yourself a chance to upset the Saints tonight. For Thomas Moore, they've got a number of returning players from a year before and three players that I'm really excited to watch in action again. Jacob Werman averaging under two kills per set, but 1.7 kills per set is pretty darn good here early in the uh, season here. He's also got five total blocks. That's fun, obviously, when he gets going and he gets into a rhythm. The Saints are a very dangerous program. And then Ben Albers, 1.82 kills per set. Mason Culver, 2.1 kills per set. Those two really are going to pick up a lot of slack from the outside, I'm expecting. And I got to think that Thomas Moore, if they can just play their game, they're going to come away with a victory. Although, you look at the paper, you look at all this, uh, it's nice for me to say all these things about the Saints, but you have to actually go out and win it on the floor. Thomas Morgan be wearing their white uniforms tonight. The home whites in this home opener. Thoroughbreds wearing their green uniforms with yellow letters and numbers. That's about impossible to miss. It'd be kind of hard to 
looking at this uh, thoroughbred team, looking through, uh, Wesley Potts is a player that was added, must have been added not too, not too long ago, because he's not on my roster, but he is in the stat sheet. Wesley Potts out there. We'll see who the starting lineup is for this thoroughbred squad. Looks to me that the back row is going to include Andruski and Howard. No surprises there. Trent Findlay also in the back row. Not a person. Up front. Not a person. Looks like he got Jamal Gray. Also Christian Webb getting the start today. Oh, I mentioned Trent Findlay in the back row. He's going to move up to the middle. And then in the back, you got Jamal Singleton instead for Thomas Moore. Mason Culver on the far side. Jacob Werman up front. Ben Albers, the three that I talked about, they're all in the front row. Back row play, looking like we've got Connor Young nearest to the screen in the back for Thomas Moore. Also, very tall Caleb Lipscomb, sophomore out of Walnut Hills in Cincinnati. And also Dominic Rossi out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, went to Shaler. A Pittsburgh kid in the Cincinnati area. Can't be easy. But Thomas Moore, sure happy to have him. We'll talk more about Rossi and the young season that he's been having. Pretty good start for him in just a little bit. Connor Young, Princeton High School, a Viking. Now ready to rock for the Saints in the CCC this 2023 season. At least at home, has now begun. Connor Young serves it right into the net. Not how Thomas Moore wanted to start this home event, but you know what? You get the jitters out of the way a little bit. Just move on. Got a lot of volleyball to play. Now here's Jamal Gray, jump serve, a little long. So teams trading some service errors to begin this match. Saints are coached by Zach Ober. As Ben Albers will serve it over. Coach Ober looking to help the Saints transition from the NAIA days to the Division II days. Thomas Moore is going to get that point. Nice block by Jacob Orman. Saints poke their nose in front. It's not going to be easy, of course. I mean, go to that Division II level. It's not really a Division II. Division II and Division I sometimes can get blurred a little bit, meaning that you're going to be taking on some pretty darn tough teams as Rossi sets up at the net. Now from the opposite side, it's Andruski. And a free ball sent over by Young. Well played by the Thoroughbreds. Credit the kill to Trent Finley out of Memphis, Tennessee. Transfer from Campbellsville at Harrodsburg. And we're all tied at two out of the gate. Christian Webb is back to serve. Assistant coaches for the Saints, Derry McDowell and Chad Thornton. Darian's been here for a hot minute as Werman Gathers a very thunderous kill. He's off to a good start. Oberrock in the, uh, yeah, Coach Oberrock in the suit today. The brown shoes. Litzler, the libero for the Saints, is in and serves him tough. It'll be Andruski, the left-handed hit, out of play. Saints up now by two. But yeah, Coach Over, it's a respect the game matter. Wear the sweats. You can come like me today and be, you know, casual on a Friday. Uh-uh. The Saints team with a different look as Litzler picks up a service ace. For Litzler, that's his first ace of the year. First of many, I'm sure, to come for the senior defensive specialist slash libero. To the middle, heavy hit from Finley, but well rejected by Lipscomb. All six foot 11 of him gets up, gets a big time block. Caleb Lipscomb playing in his second match out of the four that Thomas Moore have played this year. That serve is one says in, one says out. I believe the line judge on the far side has the official rule on that. And that is out. Saints still leading 6-3. A serve from the opposing libero and Javier Saldivar will work out, but not for long. Thomas Moore sides out, leading it now by four. Substitutions for the Saints out are Culver and Young. 
in come Will Buskin. He'll head to the front row and back to serve. Eli Chambers, junior out of California. Good serve. Now to the outside. Watch out. That's a heavy hit, but just too far from Jordan Howard. I like the idea. They set him up well. But now the Saints lead by a handful. Well in control through the first 11 rallies. Nice jump serve received well by Saldivar. And now on the outside, not enough from Cade Andruski as another rejection up front has the Thoroughbreds in fits. Saints by six. And a long serve. Just a bit beyond the far line for Eli Chambers. Third serve error against Thomas Moore. Otherwise, Saints have really been able to take care of business against the Breds as Andruski picks up a service ace. Talking a little in the pregame about what Thomas Moore has to do to win this game, and it's, you know, cut down on the mistakes, make sure that you don't let the Thoroughbreds get into this match, this race, this whatever. Make, make them earn it. Don't give anything easy to the Thoroughbreds because if you do, they can make you pay. They, pay a, they play a very tough schedule. Coming off of a win against Culver Stockton. Rozzi serve. Well returned by Thomas Moore, but Eli Chambers ends up catching it off the chest. They can credit that kill to Jamal Singleton out of East St. Louis. Floating serve from Howard. Now Albers on the outside, you bet. Ben Albers puts Thomas Moore back up by five. Perfect setup to get it to Albers on the far side and the outside hitter. Gives Thomas Moore a even larger advantage. Is that Mac Gagnon? Cincinnati kid. West Sider, LaSalle High School. Ends up touching the pin. Thomas Moore wins the point. Taking a look at hitting percentages coming into this game. Actually, you would think that the 2-1 and one team would have the better hitting percentage than the 1-16. and 16. That just isn't quite the situation here. Set to the outside and on the right side, just a little too strong from Will Buskin. Oh, no, they're going to say it was touched by the Thoroughbreds. And Thomas Moore going to be gifted that point. So heading back to serve a little bit more, Matt Gagnon. But yeah, as mentioned, as far as hitting percentages are concerned, as Ben Alvarez gets a big time stop up front. That may not be the case after this game. Kentucky State hitting at a 141 clip. Thomas Moore hitting at a 137 clip. So just a little bit shy of what Kentucky State's been playing at. The difference is Thomas Moore not making quite as many mistakes. And man, when they're controlling the net like they have been, as Werman, I believe, gets another block, they are going to be very, very hard to stop. Timeout called. We're taking a break on the Saints Sports Network. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Returning to the action on the Saints Sports Network. Nine point lead for Thomas Moore as they have caught a flyer, if you will, and have taken a commanding lead over their Division II rivals and the Kentucky State Thoroughbreds. Kentucky State's HBCU down in Frankfort, Kentucky. 
to serve and beat rolls on for Gagnon. Hit from the outside. Nice job by Howard, but an even better job defending it was from Eli Chambers. Saldivar giving now Gray a chance, and the Thoroughbreds are going to get the point. I think the ball was caught in the stands by a young member of the Saints faithful. And looking across the gym, you can tell this place has a pretty good number of folks sitting here and watching. On the far side, just a couple of workers, I think, a couple of the ball runners. But, yeah, several dozen people watching on the near side. Camera's not quite catching that, but I, I, I promise you there are a good number of people here tonight for the opener as Ben Albers gets a kill. If you couldn't tell just by listening to this crowd. A couple subs, Culver back in, as well as Connor Young. Young. Ready to roll, trying to put the Saints up 10. Gray setting up back for his teammate in Howard. It just doesn't pan out. Now Thomas Moore by 10. Time it was called by Eileen Butts, the head coach of the Thoroughbreds. And, I, you know, I, you try to, you know, call that timeout, keep Thomas Moore from really rolling in the late going, but I just have not seen a lot of changes since that break. As a nice up from Saldivar will keep the Thoroughbreds' hopes alive for at least another rally. Here's a hit from Culver. No dice. Mason Culver, another just smoking hit. And Thomas Moore, seven points from the money. Here's Young again. And just a mistake on the service reception from Jordan Howard. That error on Howard. We'll just compile the problems for this thoroughbred team in this first set. But the good news is for them, they play three. They're at least playing three. Best of five. This men's volleyball battle is another service error. Gives Young another service ace as he keeps on cooking for Thomas Moore. He started the game off putting one into the net. But now it's all smiles on that left side of your screen. We're seeing a couple new Thomas Moore faces come in. Will Strasser out of Cleves, Ohio. I believe that's way west side. As Young puts one into the net. Also checking in for the Saints, Braden Hicks. He's out of Dayton. Went to Kettering, Fairmont. I have an uncle who lives up in the Kettering area. Shout outs to Uncle Tom. Here's a hit from Gray. It's a little long on the serve. Thomas Moore now four points away from a set one victory. I, li I love the Kettering area. A lot to do. I believe there's, and I, again, I didn't grow up in Dayton. Mom's side of the family's from there, but I believe there's like a big, maybe like a concert venue in that Kettering area that I'm not entirely sure of, like where it is or maybe where it used to be. Here's a hit. And a, is it going to be a kill? I was hoping I'd speak the Dayton kill into existence from Hicks. But they're going to have to earn it again. Here's a lob up. Not a bad set from Young, but just a little too far out of the reach of Worm. And a good idea, I guess. The execution was not there. We re rejoin the live action here instead of me talking about concert halls that may or may not be in the Kettering area. About an hour north here of where we're playing volleyball tonight in Crestview Hills. Young setting up the outside for Hicks. To be tight against the net, but perfectly set up in the middle for Trent Finley, who blasts it home. 11 points set still. Thomas Moore probably can gear down and still win this easily. But you don't want to give the Breds a chance to build some momentum going into the second. That serve into the net will help Thomas Moore's chances. As Jonathan Litzler now goes back to serve. 
He's got a couple service aces today already. Two of the four for Thomas Moore have come from the right hand of Jonathan Litzler. See if he gets another. Saldivar with the reception. Gray passing very tight to the net, but ends up working out pretty well. Another nice kill for the Thoroughbreds. Trent Finley with his third of the game. As Javier Saldivar goes back to serve out of Arlington, Texas. Home of the for you baseball fans out there, the Texas Rangers. There's a strong hit from the left side, and gathering that kill, Will Strasser. Strasser, first year out of Taylor. First bit I get to chat about him today, other than when he checked into the game. You know, Eli Chambers, two points away from a set one victory. We're going to have to wait. Pretty good jump serve, just got caught right on the top of the net. A little unfortunate for Chambers, but like what we're seeing out of him. Saints have been in control, all set numero uno. Saldivar, now Gray to the outside, and a nice hit. Another kill for the Kentucky State Thoroughbreds. It's Jordan Howard this time. Now Andruski, nice reception by Litzler, saving that and giving the Saints a chance. That's all they needed, and they take care of business. Another kill for Will Strasser, his second in this set. Service errors are five and four apiece for Thomas Moore and Kentucky State, as Strasser will serve. Received by Saldivar. Now Gray back to Andruski who rolls it over. Well played by the Saints. We'll see if Albers can finish the set. Not quite yet. It's going to be Gray setting quickly over. Nice diving effort by Chambers who will send over a free ball. Saldivar to Gray. Back now to Andruski. Blocked up front. Good rally going. It's going to be sent right back. Excellent job by the Saints. Will it pay off? Not quite yet. Gray keeps it alive. Now Litzler. Passing back to Albers, perfect setup for Albers. And no, the Saints still won't be able to quite get it. It's going to, yes, will go to the Saints. I thought it was going to be Howard able to find the clear spot of floor on the far side, but Howard put a little too much on it. And Thomas Moore will get the first set victory, 25 to 13. I'll take a quick break. We're back here in three minutes on the Saints Sports Network. of all we hold dear back home, America's Navy. It's always been a part of me to fight for those who couldn't fight for themselves. Whether on my block or around the world, my name is First Lieutenant King. And I move toward the sounds of those who are in need of help. The few, the proud, the Marines. Just about ready to get back to the volleyball action after Thomas Moore takes a 1-0 lead in this match. Thomas Moore powered by a couple of individuals that had multiple kills in that first set. Albers had two. Strasser 
had two. And Werman, he only had one, but he did have three block solos. So that's good for four points. And a team leader as we go into the second fraction of this game. Over on the Kentucky State side, the issue really came down to the errors for the Thoroughbreds. They had nine in that first set, and they're just going to have to find some way to clean that up because it's going to be hard to beat Thomas Moore when you're giving them those nine points. If you spot him nine, and I know Thomas Moore had some mistakes as well, it's just not going to be easy to overcome. Thomas Moore gets on the board first in set number two. As these fans are certainly pleased with what they've seen so far. Connor Young back to serve for the Saints. And it's a little long. So he, Young with his third service error of the game. It's going to send back Christian Webb to serve. Webb, I believe, making his season debut with the Thoroughbreds out of Alton, Illinois. Not too far from where I grew up in the northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin area. It's going to be a kill right down the middle. Nice move from Lipscomb who just drills it to the right side and puts Thomas Moore back up in front. Ben Albers now to serve. Here it comes. Andruski, a set leader, or excuse me, assist leader for this thoroughbred team as Thomas Moore gets called for an infraction. Saint still on the left side of your screen. Thoroughbreds on the right side if you're just joining us. Thomas Moore. Well in control of that first set. Can they continue in this second? Service errors like that are absolutely going to help TMU. In for Thomas Moore. First time we're getting a chance to see Jackson Sinard. Here's Litzler. Good serve. Now Thomas Moore with a chance to take three. No excuses here as the outs off. Thomas Moore flat out got beat on that play. Oh no, they're gonna say the thoroughbreds went into the net. Thomas Moore catching a break because the Saints, again, you take three like that off of a quick return. I I'm like, I like what the thoroughbreds did there. I thought they executed fairly well. They're a little befuddled by the call. Obviously that net was moving. It's pretty clear for everyone at home to see. Kentucky State just down by one. They're going to send Gray back to serve. Kate Andruski out of Wrightwood, California. Have a little something to say to the official about that last call. As, oh, a thunderous kill coming off the right hand of Will Buskin. Mentioned I talk a little about him. Buskin, now in his 12th set played. Connor Young going to check out and quickly checking in will be Landon Tackett out of Pickerington, Ohio. Went to Central. Will Buskin averaging 1.2 kills per set. He just about met his quota for the day. Serve goes into the net. Thomas Moore only up by one as Howard is back to serve. And Howard served too long. Thoroughbreds, I, the errors keep piling up. From what I've seen from Kentucky State, they got the athleticism. It seems like they've got a pretty good game plan. It's just the execution hasn't been consistent enough to keep up with TMU. Plenty of time still because Thomas Moore keeps giving him more points with another error on the serve. That time coming off the hand of Dominic Razi. Rossi averaging 2.4 kills per game, or per set. So a couple of these new faces, Buskin, Rossi, really putting a lot in this. We have another service there. That's time from Saldivar. But some of these new faces for Thomas Moore, 
they bring a, uh, a bit of hope for the future for the Saints. We're we looking to get to three and one on this 2023 season. And Drewski hits it into the net. I thought that should be four hits on the breads, and it is. Keep it rolling for Buskin. Here's Gray. Good job by Albers to keep that alive. And Culver from the outside. Oh, just way too long. Breads get the point. It will Buskin. A west side kid, went to Elder High School. Panther. Here at Cincinnati, Ohio. Or Cincinnati, Ohio. I wonder, and I don't know, but Buskin, one of my favorite names in all of the Cincinnati area, mainly because of the bakery. Here's Culver with the kill. And I'm not sure, but could Buskin, could this be the same Buskin or someone related maybe to that of Buskin Bakery? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. That's not my notes. That's something for our sports information team to dig into and find. And beyond that, give me some discounts on some cookies. Valentine's Day's coming up right around the corner. Man, Buskin Bakery, one of my absolute favorites. It has been basically my entire life. Here's Saldivar. Now Andrew Ski to the middle and rejected. Nice job. It's easy when you're six foot eleven. Caleb Lipscomb letting them know. Thomas Moore by four. But yeah, Buskin Bakery during you know holidays, be it uh, really any time. You you got a Valentine's Day is the one that sticks out to me. They're little heart shaped sugar cookies. And that's service ace. No, it is not. A service error. I think going over the line and getting called for it is Gagnon. So now the serve rolls over for Christian Webb. But yeah, if you're in the Cincinnati area, like many of you probably are, or, or Northern Kentucky, as that goes out of play. Though a lot of uh, these individuals for the thoroughbreds, not really from the Cincinnati area or Kentucky area, actually, not one from Kentucky by the look of it. There is Wesley Potts from Greenfield, Ohio, as Ben Albers serves it over. But if you're a Thomas Moore fan, and you're tuned in, you're probably from the Cincinnati area. Not necessarily, but probably. Valentine's Day coming up, is, that's gonna be, uh, I believe, a little bit of an infraction over there on Dominic Razi. Not sure if that hit the pin, or if he caught the net coming down. I think it might have been the former. Litzler to Young. Oh, and just, Again, it was there. Thought Lipscomb might punch that one home. But he ends up playing it conservatively. And Thomas Moore now watch their once five point lead dwindle just down to two. It's Young to the outside for Razi. That's a good start for Thomas Moore in rebuilding their advantage. Three point lead now for the Saints. But yeah, one final note on Buskin Bakery. The sugar cookies are by far the best that I have had. I, I think F, I, I can't think of a better sugar cookie that you can purchase than Buskin Bakery. And whether or not Will Buskin is related to them, I'm not sure. But if so, someone, someone out there, please let me know. And again, get me a discount. Please. <laughs> I'm begging you here. Here's Litzler after another service ace, his third of the match. Drewski to the middle. Finley not able to get it past Litzler. Out to the outside. Oh, what an absolutely smoking hit that somehow gets returned properly for the Thoroughbreds. Thomas Moore, though, just too good. Give the kill to Buskin. Thomas Moore continues to pour it on. Looking to get back up by five. I don't know how the Thoroughbreds were able to return that just scalding attack from Razi. But they were as Howard hits it long. Saints by five. Excuse me, Saints by six.
think our score was a little quicker than I was. All good, though. Here is Litzler. We'll serve it over. Received by Saldivar. Now Andruski over to Howard. Oh, and Albers. Oh, he sent that one into yesterday. Thomas Moore not able to keep it. Make sure everyone's okay after the spill between Litzler and Young. Litzler pops up okay. Young does the same. Good effort by Thomas Moore, at least to give chase to that ball. As a coach, that's probably something you like to see. You're winning by five right now. You were able to cruise through that first set, no problem. You still want that fight to be there. You want that aggressiveness still to be there. And Thomas Moore has not shown that they've lost a step, even if the score is a little bit closer. I think that there have been some service errors that have come back to bite Thomas Moore, made this set a little bit closer than they probably would like, but the fight has still been there. And that's good to see. Here's Albers. Saldivar, nah, able to get it up, just no one was home. Thomas Moore by five again. Landon Tackett back into the game. Tackett. Mentioned out of Pickerington, Ohio. That's like the Columbus area. It's a little out of my wheelhouse as far as you know, knowledge of the area. But I know Michael Pagano is a Columbus area guy. Thomas Moore gets that point. Now leads it by six. And I could be wrong, but I think he might actually be a Pickerington guy. Casey George, a Pickerington athlete for Thomas Moore. He's on the men's basketball team. They'll be in action here tomorrow against another HBCU. That'll be Wilberforce comes into town. Coming down from Wilberforce, Ohio. Nice kill from the outside. That's Howard getting it done. And now Jordan Howard out of Chesapeake, Virginia. Albers, attack it out to Culver. And Saldivar gets it over to Gray. Good work by the Thoroughbreds to just stay alive. And Andruski rejected. Andruski thought he could sneak that one by the front row of Thomas Moore, but the defense was just too good. It's fun to be calling volleyball again to the Connor Convocation Center after the women's volleyball season ended back in the spring. Here's Gray over to Andruski. That's a kill. Nice job by Andruski. Kate Andruski, center. Just a sophomore. It's a very young Kentucky State team also, and that's I'm not too surprised that I've seen these spurts from K-State or Kentucky State, but haven't seen the consistency because with young players, you get that. You'll get good spurts, just maybe not all putting it together. And the future bright for both of these programs as Albers gets blocked. Great job getting up and sending it back from Jamal Singleton. St. Louis High School. Now Saldivar. Back it, back to Culver. Oh, and Culver just whipped. Saints just up by three now. KSU. Keeping it tight. Good. Keeps these games interesting. If we had three like the first set, they'd be falling asleep on you. But Kentucky State's woken up, and Thomas Moore with more and more errors. Never mind. Did someone touch that? Infraction on the thoroughbreds, I believe, meaning Thomas Moore should be winning that point. It's a four-point play, or excuse me, a four-point lead for TMU as Buskins back to serve. Andruski with the reception to the outside. Good up by Thomas Morris Hackett. And Rossi into the net. Miscommunication from Thomas Moore. Saints also have a pretty young team. Something we haven't talked a ton about here today. 
There are a few seniors that have been around for a minute. Werman, Young. Those are the only two that I have on my list. Oh, and Litzler as well. Here's Albers. That's a kill. But what, three seniors for Thomas Moore? Not a ton of upperclassmen. And even then, those seniors, who knows if they've got another extra year of eligibility, if they're going to use that year of eligibility. What with the COVID year and all. Nice job by the Saints to get that back over. The uh, Gagnon to get it away. And the Saints end up coming up with a, another big time point. Puts them back up by five as we're four away from a set two victory. It's Connor Young. Serves away, and it's a good one. Andrewski over to Webb, who's into the game for the first time. Or excuse me, Wesley Potts, who's into the game for the first time. Okay, so. I had Wesley Potts written down twice. He had a number change, which was not notified to us. Wesley Potts wearing number three tonight. He's the Ohio kid. He's in there on the far side of your screen, just on the right side for those of you watching. And another serve line violation on the Saints. Connor Young now the guilty one. I think Matt Gagnon was the first one who got caught doing that. And have Thomas Moore still up by five. Not as comfortable as their 12-point win in the first set. But a lead nevertheless. Sandruski over to Howard. Litzler, well played. Now Young just sets it over, punched back. Litzler will keep it alive. Rolling that ball over is Jackson Sinard and Howard, a strong hit that goes way out of here. Good kill from Howard as that ball goes into the second deck, into the walking track around the, it's not really a track, I guess, but to the upper level of the concourse. The ball was hit with some speed. It's now Webb, excuse me. Yes, Christian Webb sends it over. Now Howard. Sinard gets it up, Young keeps it alive, and Litzler will put over the free ball. Perfect free ball placement from Litzler. As now Howard will hit it off of his back foot. Young setting up behind him for Albers on the right side. It's out of here. Cool time in the Connor Convocation Center. DMU two points away from the wire. Forty-one combined points so far in this set. Three more than the first set. Only had 38. Sennard hits it over. Now Andruski. Nice pass over to Howard. Howard, does he get the kill? No, Albers will push it over. Now Andruski to the middle. Nice rejection from Lipscomb. Easy money for the 6'11 fella. One point away for Thomas Moore. He made the set point. It's Ben Albers. Speaking of West Side kids, haven't had a chance to talk much about Albers. Delhi, Ohio. Went to Elder. He puts one into the net. Sure, he was feeling good after Thomas Moore beat the Lions of Mount St. Joe University over in Delhi. Saints won that one in three straight sets. Serve coming from Singleton. Now Young to the middle for Lipscomb, who just crushed that. It'll be Potts. Litzler, here it is, to the outside for Sinard. We'll try it again. Singleton over to Howard. Howard, too long. Saints win, set two. 25-19, Thomas Moore up 2-0. We'll be back for the third after this. So I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. 
the little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Back to it here on the Saints Sports Network. Hi, everybody. My name is Nate Metz. Good to be back here doing volleyball. I mentioned earlier, women's volleyball had a nice season. And before, men's volleyball was a thing here at Thomas More. That was it. You know, you had to wait all the way back until the fall for women's volleyball to kick back up, but not anymore. You get volleyball basically all year long. Thomas More men's team looking to make some waves this year, looking at their upcoming schedule. We could talk about that a little bit. Thomas Moore up 2 nothing, and don't show any signs of slowing down, although that second set was a little bit closer for KSU. Thomas Moore going to start this one off with a serve coming from Eli Chambers. But the Saints will have a number of home games coming up. Next one going to be on the 7th of February, so not too long from now. It's going to be a first point kill for the Thoroughbreds. Next Tuesday, 7 p.m., another HBCU coming into town. We got an HBCU parade. We got KSU today and men's volleyball. Tomorrow, we've got Wilberforce. And then on Tuesday, we've got Central State, who are also in Wilberforce, but are not Wilberforce, who are coming down to take on Thomas Moore, so it should be a lot of fun. Make sure that you get down here at 7 p.m. to watch your Saints uh, go into action against the Marauders. Yeah, the Marauders is the uh, mascot of Central State. Got to see the women's volleyball team take them on earlier this year. Got to learn all about Central State. As Sinard will get the kill, Thomas Moore takes their first lead of set three. Then Thomas Moore will take a Pretty tough step in class. They're going to have conference play coming up. And in the Mid-South Conference, I mean, you've got number six Georgetown. You've got number 15 Campbellsville. It's not going to be easy for the Saints squad, but I think that they're poised to win a number of games this year. It's just a unreal hit from Buskin. And Saldivar had no answer. Who would? It's Thomas Mortine, though. Looking better than they have in years past. Certainly happy about the way that they're looking tonight. As Howard answers back and gets a kill for the Thoroughbreds. Yeah, the Saints will have Campbellsville on the 10th. They've got Midway on the 14th. That 10th is going to be a wild day. And that Saturday, we're going to have baseball early in the day. That's a service ace for Webb. We've got baseball earlier in the day, assuming that the weather is okay. Who knows? Although we do have a turf field over in Florence for the Thomas Moore baseball situation as the Thoroughbreds will take a lead. Should be four to three now. KSU, Thomas Moore got called. I think that was Chambers who hit it twice. The refs were all over. Now Chambers setting up the outside for Sinard for another kill. His second of this set, it's four to four. But then Thomas Moore's gonna head down after uh, they take on Midway on the 14th. So what, four straight now? A little homestand for Thomas Moore. Then they go on the road to Kentucky State, so they'll return this game down in Frankfurt. Chambers setting up the outside. Rossi a little long. Did anyone touch it? No, they did not. Good job by Kentucky State to stay cautious and not touch that volleyball as it went long. Thoroughbreds back up in front. And then on the 18th, Thomas will be back against Cumberland. And they're home for a tri-match against Carlo and Reinhardt on the 25th. 
I will not be here for that one, I know. I'll be calling the Mid-South Basketball Tournament down in Bowling Green, Kentucky, but I'm sure someone will be up here covering the action for you all on the Saints Sports Network. I'll be here when I can. Always hard during the springtime when all these teams are playing at once. But we've got a great broadcast team here at Thomas Moore that I think is going to put forth a lot of good efforts covering these Saints this year. Here's a hit and a kill. First one, I believe, of the game for Chris Carlson. Chris Carlson out of the Philippines. Out of Manila. Tack it with the serve. To the outside, it's Howard. And a good job by Thomas Moore to somehow get the free ball over. Answering back is Findlay. Back it now to Albers, soaring through the middle, but rejected up front. Excellent work by Trent Findlay. Findlay gets the arms up. Ends up successfully blocking that attack. Albers just soared from the back row. Ben Albers looking to have a great second year here at Thomas Moore. Gray, the outside Andruski with the kill. Thoroughbreds poke their nose in front. Saints looking to sweep the Thoroughbreds. Carlson can't get it over, but Albers does. Good rally from Thomas Moore. Saints win the point, tied back up at seven. Ben Albers, doesn't seem like there's much of a sophomore slump for him. Plays with so much energy out there on the far side. Very hard to miss with that American flag headband. Love it, here's Andruski. Rejected up front, but way too much spice on that tamale. It bounces off of Wehrman. Way out of here. But Wehrman, how good has he been today? Talked a little about him and what he's been able to do for this Saints squad. We got two kills on five attacks, three blocks. Make it three kills for Werman. Spoke it into existence. Jacob Werman, Northern, or excuse me, uh, Cincinnati area kid. Milford High School. It's east side of Cincinnati, east and north of Cincinnati. Take 275 east around, like I do to get here. Right by Milford. That's going to be a Thomas Moore advantage after KSU couldn't get it through the front line. And now we'll see if the Saints can put some distance between them and their rival. I believe that ball was hit twice. I'm a little confused on how that was counted, Christian Webb received it. It bounces off his head and over. But whatever, worked out all right for KSU. Here's Albers, looking to get the lead back, and he does. Ben Albers now seven kills for him. He's leading all players in this match. Are we that surprised? It's Albers and Howard that have been really putting in good work on the outside for both teams. But Ben Albers' team with an advantage in this third set and overall. Thomas Moore now up two. Like I saw there from Buskin, certainly ready defensively. He's just throwing his hands up saying, I don't know what you want me to do with that, Mr. Jamal Singleton. Chambers with a good serve. It'd be Gray setting up Andruski on the outside. Chambers, can they save it? They do. Good effort by Chambers and Albers, but it was just too much Andruski on the far side. The right side, left-handed hit. Not easy to defend as Andruski 
Picks up another kill for him today. That's number five for him to go along with five errors. That's the big issue, I think, to take away from this Kentucky State match as Buskin gets a thunderous kill. Two-point lead for Thomas Moore. Yeah, Andruski and Howard have combined for 12 kills, but they've also combined for 10 errors. And if you throw in Singleton, it's 14 kills and 15 errors. That dog just will not hunt. It's Chambers. Back now to... Oh, great, great defensive job up front by Singleton. As Sinard. Thought had a pretty good look there from the right side, but hit right into a wall, and Thomas Moore's lead trimmed down to just one. Now Webb. To the outside, Sinard rejected. Yeah, Sinard's got to make an adjustment somewhere. He's not going through. I think that's pretty evident. Might want to just go over, go around. Alternate something up for that outside attack. Right side attack, I guess. The service error gives Thomas Moore the lead back. We're halfway through, 13-12, TMU. Litzler's serve received. And now here's Howard. Blitzler, over to Razi. Yes, Razi with the kill. Razi, now with his fifth kill of the night. Three errors on ten attacks. Now Howard, set up pretty well by Singleton. That's a kill. So Howard now has the lead for all players tonight. It's a one-point set again. Howard now with eight kills. Just edging out the likes of Ben Albers for Thomas Moore, and then Singleton puts it into the net off the serve. Sinard is out, along with Chambers. Into the game, Carlson and Tackett. Andruski setting back home for Findlay. And Thomas Moore now no excuses. They got to get this taken care of right here, right now. Rossi. And they get bailed out by Webb, who keeps it in play. That ball was certainly going out, and it does not go on the right side of the pin for Howard. So an error, multiple errors, I should say, on KSU. And Thomas Moore, again, you got to tighten some of that stuff up. Learn how to put teams away. They did it well in set one. Set two, not as convincing. Set three, a little bit of the same. Maybe Potts. Now to the outside for Carlson. And Thomas Moore will win the point. Fraction on the thoroughbreds. The Saints eight points away from a three-set sweep. Here's Tackett. Andruski to the outside for Howard for the kill. Number nine for him. So Howard, I mentioned in the pregame that he's the one to watch. Just over two kills per set. Currently he's averaging over three. Also coming into this match with a 136 hitting percentage, currently at 103 tonight. Here's Carlson just poking it over. It's saved by Andruski and Gray. And Thomas Moore's got some work to do. It's Rossi. Was it tit touched? It was not. The Saints lose that point. Two-point game. They're getting closer and closer. Gray with the serve into the net. So every time Thomas Moore makes a seemingly crucial error, the thoroughbreds follow suit. Nice 
Reception by Andrewski. Here's Howard who hit it long. No one touched it for Thomas Moore. And now TMU has opened up to a four point advantage. Six away. Rossi will keep it moving. See if he's able to get Thomas Moore a five point lead. It'll be Gray setting up Andrewski. And Andrewski gets the kill. I like this Andrewski kid. Just finding seams in the Thomas Moore defense. Made some mistakes, yeah, sure. But Andrewski, just a sophomore, like so many others on this Kentucky State team. Sure, gonna have plenty of chances to grow, get better, and maybe win a couple of matches down the road. Thomas Moore gonna give up that point as well. I believe it went off of Albers, maybe? Went off of Albers and then maybe onto the pin. Or antenna, or whatever you want to call it. Two point game. Albers with the reception. Tack it back to Albers. Perfect setup. Howard there to return. And Tack it just caught out of position. Not able to make the athletic move to dive back to his right and keep that alive. And it's a one-point game. Closing in deep in the stretch are the Thoroughbreds. And it's a tie third set now. 19 all. Hey, hey. Saints got to find a little bit more. Find that extra gear. Kick them home. Or let the Thoroughbreds get you home <laughs> with a service error. Has not been the cleanest of matches between these two teams. But Thomas Moore will take it any way they can get it. Werman sends the serve long. Twenty twenty. Perfect vision and set three. As Saldivar is back to serve. Received by Litzler, tack it to the middle, poked over by Buskin. Good setup for Buskin. Buskin returning fire and Buskin delivering. <laughs> Substitutions for Thomas Moore. Chambers in. He'll go back and serve. Coming out, Tackett and Carlson. Sinard in the game for the Saints. Along with Rossi and Gagnon. They're in the black. Gray, out to Andruski. Oh, good job by Albers, just willing his team back into this rally. Now Rossi from the back row. Albers, tight against the net, Saints by two. Saints let their rival get a little close to him. They got a chance to put themselves closer to a win than their opponent if they can win this set, or excuse me, win this point. If they win the set, now well, it's no matter anyway, the game's over. Ball's out, Thomas Moore wins the point. 23-20, two away. Chambers keeps it rolling. Man, I am really impressed, though, by the crowd that's here tonight. Awesome stuff as Thomas Moore now has got back out to a four-point lead, and we've come to match point. Saints won the first two sets handily, looking to win the third. Chambers ready to fire away. The jump serve. Nearly an ace. It'll be Buskin. Over to Albers. Looking for the win. Gray to send it back. It's out. The Saints go marching. Thomas Moore wins it in style on opening night here in the Connor Convocation Center. Beating them in set three, 25, 20. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to this broadcast presentation of Thomas Moore men's volleyball. I got Sebastian up here.
doing a great job keeping the stat sheet running for you all. So you know what score it is while I'm talking about cookies or whatever else. He did a great job, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this show. For everyone here at Thomas More, my name is Nate Matt. Signing off, we'll see you all tomorrow for basketball on the Saints Sports Network, and then we'll see you for some men's volleyball action on Tuesday as the Saints take on the Marauders of Central State. Good night, everybody.